guys, Coach Jesse Lynn here. <clears throat> Quick update for you. First quarter, I am down 8.3 pounds, and that is even with um, eating out. I've been to El Paso twice, Texas Roadhouse once, KFC twice. We've had pizza, um, a few snacks here and there. Friday, I had hot Cheetos. Now, you guys may wonder, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> with all this craziness when you're in the middle of trying to lose weight. Well, let me tell you, it is not a cut and dry issue when you're an emotional eater like I am. Um, and I have a lot of factors that keep on trying to bring me down. Not, it's just life, you know, that's just how it is. So, um, when we are dealing with trying to keep our sanity, uh, my husband and I have been taken off <laughs> and going out to eat more than usual, a lot more than usual. Now, even with all that, like I say, I have lost 8.3 pounds. I have not measured in a while because my husband does it for me and he's not that fond of doing it. But um, <clears throat> I'll get measured soon so I can see what's going on with the inches. And... Yeah, so that's the 8.3 pounds is even with all of that eating out. And then also my water was not, I was having an issue last week with my water. It was making me sick in my eyes. I have weird health issues all the time. It was one of them. But now that's kind of abated. So I'm back to drinking more water. Um, and I have not been able to exercise. Well, have not felt like I had the time to exercise in the past two weeks. <laughs> so considering all of that, um, the 8.3 pounds is pretty awesome. Now, um, this next quarter, seems how I am now a weight loss money-making coach. Um, I will alter my game plan. Uh, we are going to put exercise in as part of my job. Because, well, as a weight loss person, it's pretty much is. <laughs> so I won't feel guilty about taking the time in the morning to exercise when I'm trying to get stuff done. Um, I'm going to be using core rhythms. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but it's an awesome little set of uh, videos on um, Latin dance. You do a lot of uh, hip action, which works your obliques. And it is it is a lot of fun. And it is awesome to feel stronger in, in your core. Um, <clears throat> I ordered that a couple years ago. It's like a whole system. You can probably look it up on the internet if you would like. So we're going to be doing core rhythms in the morning that realistically speaking will probably be about 20 minutes to start. I might toss in. I have like little 10 minute workout videos as well. It's also dance. It's hip hop. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I'm 44, but I like hip hop. It has attitude. The decent hip hop. Um, <clears throat> so I'll probably toss in some of that. You're looking at realistically to start about a half an hour a day, at least five days a week of exercise um, that will need to increase. But for now, <clears throat> we're after routine. So we're going to do the exercise, the water increase, and then also three meals a day, which is kind of not my norm. I don't always like to mess around with doing breakfast. Um, I kind of fly by the seat of my pants. I kind of eat whenever... You know, whenever I <clears throat> feel like taking a break from work. But I kind of have an obsessive nature. So sometimes I don't want to take a break until like 2, 3 o'clock. <laughs> which messes everything up. So, we're going to be working on <clears throat> breakfast. Because WebMD says that breakfast eating people are slimmer than their non-breakfast eating counterparts. And lunch and dinner at the regularly scheduled time. So I can get both of my sets of capsules in. And feel better because when I take them on a consistent basis I feel awesome um, so that is for this next quarter and then after that once we get that down in its habit and I don't have to think about it then we're going to add in more exercise because quite frankly <clears throat> um, a little piddly half an hour a day is not going to cut it not for posting big numbers um, women I believe we have to do like an hour a day just normal to, to maintain our weight. I think I read that somewhere. 
but uh, when I was dancing before I was doing like two hours a day I would skip lunch and dance at lunch and dance on my two breaks and then I dance at least an hour after work and it, it was awesome I loved it people around me oftentimes thought I was a little bit strange because I would have my headphones on and I just go dance in the park um, close to my work or around the corner somewhere um, but you can't hide from everybody you know downtown but you know what that's okay I mean at first I felt self-conscious but I just would block them out why because I wanted to lose weight and that will happen again um, I mean in terms of blocking people out not worrying there's always going to be people in your face always the naysayers no matter what you do and they will probably hit you early and hit you often first well let me tell you don't listen to them don't listen to them when it comes to working on your weight don't listen to them when it comes to trying to make some money because um, it's it's just not worth it don't give them power that they were never supposed to have and trust me I've always I've already had my little naysayers you know the um, it doesn't matter you just got to push forward okay uh, and I know in terms of being a coach, um, I did, I'm starting to brand myself, which is why I put Coach Jesse Lynn. Uh, and I know if I were you guys, I'd be looking at myself saying, really? You're a little, you're a little round to be a coach. But here's the thing, guys. <clears throat> um, you want a coach that has been there. And I most definitely have been there. As you can see, I am here right now. <laughs> so uh, when I come through and I'm done and I maintain then people will understand that yes I do have a method available to them if they want to use that is skinny fiber the only way to go no some people can do it with Weight Watchers some people can do it with um, I think the Atkins diet is the dehydrated food some people can do it through sheer willpower you know if you can knock yourself out go ahead really <clears throat> it's all about getting healthy but if you're having a hard time, if you're struggling with willpower, um, if you've tried other diets and it's not working, skinny fiber would be an excellent choice to try because it does work. There's tons of proof to that. And it does because it's all natural. It's perfectly safe. It does have that 100% money back guarantee, empty bottle guarantee. So you try it for a whole month. If you don't feel like it's done anything for you, <clears throat> excuse me then we will refund your money no questions asked and um, the ingredients in skinny fiber help some people with some health issues you have to be careful <clears throat> with claims I'm not I'm just telling you what it helps me with um, I did a video a little while ago uh, about the three main ingredients the the Caroluma the um, Oh shoot, the um, Chateau de Bougre and the Glucomannan. Okay, I did, I did a video about what each one of those on their own does for people is thought to be helpful with. Well, the Chateau de Bougre <clears throat> is supposed to help with, supposedly with edema, which is a swollen, uh, swollen, like legs, swollen feet, swelling, water retention. And, um, and it does on me. I'm not saying it's going to do it on you, but it did it on me. <clears throat> my feet, when I use my pills in a, in a consistent manner, I can see my feet, which is something that I haven't been able to, I haven't been able to see those puppies in years. I mean, other than maybe like a day here, a day there, but it was like a whole week I was able to see them. And I was sitting all the time, which is usually when they're going to swell up like big lumps of uh, dough. <clears throat> um, and the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> the glucomannan is thought to be good possibly with rheumatoid arthritis according to a preliminary research study done in the uh, endocrinology letters in 2008. I also mentioned that in my video and I gotta say when I take them on a consistent basis uh, I I feel good. I, I was going up and down the steps like it wasn't even a problem which if you guys have arthritis in your knees, steps can kind of suck. <laughs> so, um, that's what's going on right now. That's where I have been. That's where I'm headed. And um, <clears throat> on down the line, we'll, we will be increasing the exercise. Because like I say, I want bigger numbers. 
Um, and if you would like to try Skinny Fiber, um, either as a weight loss supplement or you would like to try to distribute for Skinny Fiber and make some money, uh, feel free to visit my website, coachjessilynn.skinnyfiberplus.com. All right. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.